Hey guys, Kaylee here, and welcome to Honey Bee History with the Honeystead. If you guys are new to my channel, we do a little bit of everything here on the Honeystead between homesteading, raising livestock, gardening, keeping bees, of course, and during the winter months, because I can't go in and do my inspections like I normally would with my honeybees, I started a new series called Honey Bee History with the Honeystead, where we dive into the history of honeybees and talk about all the stories. talk to you guys about the folklore that you may or may not have heard about the telling of the bees. I started doing some research and I found out that it actually, they believe that it actually originated from ancient Egyptian time. Now, if you guys remember, I put out a video a few weeks ago and I'll put it up there somewhere about ancient Egyptians and the history of honeybees. In that video, I talked about how honeybees were said to be a gift from their god Ra and the importance of honeybees to their culture. Make sure to go check out that video if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna skip forward a few many years and talk about the Celtic mythology when it comes to honeybees. But they actually believed that honeybees are a messenger between the two worlds, being the spiritual world and, and here, this world since they believed that the honeybees were actually a messenger, what did they tell them? And, and how did the story start? Now, many believed that when you took the time and you talked to your honeybees, whatever message that you had to share, they would take and pass it on into a spiritual world. And if you haven't heard this already, even today, the practice is still being done. I personally talk to my bees. And I know many others do too. It's not a weird thing. It's not weird at all. The folklore of the telling of the bees. It's actually a really beautiful folklore. There are stories about how bees were considered to be like an extended family member and you wanted to share the news with them. You wanted to tell the bees if there was anything that happened in the family, whether if it was like a big change or even a small change. It was normal custom for people to go up and have conversations with their bees especially when there was a new birth or somebody passed or a wedding or something that happened that was pretty big in the family. I can definitely understand the importance of having a conversation with your bees. I go up and when I'm doing a hive inspections, I say hi to them. You guys have maybe seen in some of my past videos when we go to relocate a colony or help save a colony, I will talk to them and I'll let them know that it's okay. And that's just something that I do. I know I've shared with you guys about bee therapy and how calming it is to go up and inspect a hive. Or a lot of people don't think about that when you are thinking about facing thousands of bees, that it's calming, but it really is. The hum of the bees, the way that they talk, the way they communicate, and it's a way to kind of get stuff off your chest, you know? They listen, I think they listen. I do think that beekeepers need to continue that tradition on talking to your bees and telling them what's up, what's going on. So for all my beekeeper friends out there, what do you tell your bees? I know the tradition is mainly predominant on beekeepers who pass away. And it's up to their family members to tell their bees that their keeper passed away. When I first started doing YouTube and, and doing hive inspections, it didn't really dawn on me that I was showing that side of my beekeeping. I just do this. This is just stuff that I do and I enjoy my bee therapy. But why was it a tradition that when a family member passed away, you needed to go up and talk to your bees and let them know? One of the reasons why they felt that it was important to keep the tradition of talking to your bees especially when a family member passed away or they experienced loss of life, they believe that if somebody would go up and actually tell the bees that 
that somebody had passed away, that it was actually to prevent or ward off any more loss of life or loss of your bees or loss of honey. They believed that if you didn't share that with your bees, that there would be a whole bunch of things that would just happen that could be cause chaos. But in Celtic mythology, they believed that honeybees were actually the messenger between the spirit world and, and here. They believed that if you wanted to send a message to a loved one that may have passed on, that you were to go up to the colony, do a quick little knock just to get the bees' attention, whisper to the hives the message that you wanted to pass on to one of your loved ones, then the bees would fly off and pass that message on. I find it's a beautiful message and... And I know many people who still practice it today. I know I talk to my bees. And I tell them. I tell them what's up. Tell them what's going on. I get some stuff off my chest. And I think they listen to me. At least I hope they do. I forgot I had something that I needed to tell my girls. Hey girls. How you doing? Enjoying this day. Thank you guys for watching and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.